Have you ever found yourself trying to work it all out, trying to figure life out, figure your life out? Just hitting your head against a brick wall constantly, trying to figure out the workings, the minutiae of life, trying to squeeze everything into a pattern that becomes predictable, almost like relief for your body. So if it's predictable, I know what's going to happen. Have you found yourself in those sort of situations? Maybe you're in it right now. So I want to share this with you because this has come up a lot over the last couple of years at various intervals for me in my life with the shifting sands of the desert or the changing of tides. And we typically go through these evolutionary leaps in our personal awareness, in our consciousness, and feel, as I often refer to it as, like the squeeze of the pumpkin seed. We feel the squeeze and this tension within our body, this frustration, this annoyance, this call for liberation, but we don't yet really know that we want to be liberated. We not, we're not yet fully aware that we're wanting freedom. We're wanting immediate gratification out of the pain, out of the suffering, out of the, the confines that we find ourselves in, in an event or a life stage or even a situation that may seem out of your control. So as long-winded as that introduction was, if you feel like that right now, if you've been like that in the past, experienced life that way, where you've tried to work everything out, I know what you're going through. Because this came up this morning in meditation for me. Yes, it was dark. Yes, it was a bit cool. Yes, I was a bit more prepared this morning. You know, the, uh, the ear pods were charged. The phone was charged. I had the music and the meditation preloaded. So I didn't have to dance around and faff around working things out in the dark whilst I maintained my focus. But in the meditation, I was trying to work everything out trying to work life out, I was trying to work out where, what levers I could pull, what buttons I could push, where I could get leverage so that I could move back into a state of knowing, move back into a state of predictability so that my ego, my identity that seeks the known, that seeks the predictability felt at ease, felt heard, felt safe. So what's the cure for this? What's the cure? The number one thing to really, really sit with today in this moment, moving forward, and to keep reminding yourself of is what one of my first mentors shared with me many, many years ago. And he looked at me and I was giving him pushback and saying, it's not working. It's not going to work. I can see what you're talking about. I can see where I want to go with this. I can see where you want to help me go and arrive and experience. But it's not working. And he looked at me and he said, tell me all the reasons why it's not working. Tell me all the reasons why you're not receiving the experiences, the results that you want. And I listed off at least 20 or 30 and he kept, he was very patient with me. And he said, tell me more. There's gotta be more reasons why it's not working. And I shifted from one person to the next, one institution to the next, one economic thing to the next, yada, yada, yada. And all of a sudden, in him holding space, in his presence, in his quietness, the same opened up within me. And I realized, that I'd been blaming absolutely everything outside of me. I'd been blaming absolutely everyone, everything outside of me. And I was giving my power to those things. And I was looking to bring resolve to myself by controlling the outside world. So I need to control those people. I need to control those conversations. I need to control the flow and the movement of energy between these people, these things, this timing, this this society, this government, whatever it may be. So I was in opposition to myself. Maybe you can relate. And the one thing that really struck out for me, it really hit home, was 
to take responsibility. Because I remember a quote from Jim Rowan saying, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. Don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. And what I take from that, and I consistently lean into, and am quite often reminded of, when I feel those overlays of my ego saying, I've got to figure it out, I've got to work through this, I've got to control, is wish I was better, give my attention to the better, give my attention to what I prefer, give my attention to what is and who I really am. And so wish, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. Because as we take the responsibility back for our life and we stop seeking outside opinions, we stop seeking outside commitments, fulfillments, promises from others, expectations, all those sorts of things, we assume more of our power. We are more in the presence of who we really are. And the presence of who we are is a sovereign being. And so as deep as this may be, there is an undeniability to it. And I have these conversations with myself every single time I catch myself in a moment of it's not working, I need to figure it out. And I start looking for blame outside of me. It's not working because of that, because of this, because of that person, because of this timing. And I come back to swallowing the big hairy horse pill of responsibility take back my power. And how do you take back your power? You be with yourself. And in acknowledging who you really are, you're with the self. And if you don't know who you really are, then I encourage you to inquire, I encourage you to ask, who is it that is having this conversation? Who is it that is thinking these thoughts? And you might say, well, Matt is, or Barbara, or Josie, or Paul, or Jason. It's, it's the identity having the thought. It's not who I am. It's not who I am. I am an identity. I could change my name tomorrow as you could, and many do. I could change everything about me in the belief that is going to change my reality. No, it's not going to change your reality by changing your clothes physically changing your clothes, physically changing your name, changing your hairstyle, your eye collar, your gender, whatever it may be, it's not going to change your reality. It's just another mask that you're wearing in the vain hope that your reality will reflect something different back to you, something more preferred. So I'm going in a bit of a teacher mode now, but, you know, and I don't want to come across this teacher guru mode and these are really just self-expressions with the intention of sharing it with you which is ultimately myself so that i could hear myself back i can hear the wisdom i can hear the insights i can hear the lessons i can hear the teaching back for myself and so the responsibility lays within you not as a burden or a weight or an expectation of yourself. Because if you feel like that, if you feel any tension around the word responsibility, it's your ego saying, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready to step forward. I'm not ready to do the thing and to take ownership of my life. Because somewhere in that, it's still wanting to be in preservation. Your ego is still saying it's not safe to take responsibility. Because if I take responsibility for my life, for my energy, for my thoughts, for my awareness, then who am I going to blame? Who else is out there? What else is out there that I can distinguish as being the cause of what I believe as my problem? And you're left with yourself. That's the biggest key. You're left with yourself. You don't abandon yourself as you have by blaming others or waiting for the outside world to change. You reclaim yourself. And in taking responsibility for your life, you are effectively taking 
responsibility for the direction of your life and the outcomes within your life. And I know there's the ego saying, but I'm impatient. I want it now. I want to know unequivocally that if I do this meditation today, if I feel better today, if I think better in this moment, I want the next moment to show immediate feedback. Immediate feedback. But pause, sit with yourself and say that you are the power, you have the authority, you are the prime governing effect force in your life. This is the big lesson for me today as I deepen and as you deepen, as I expand, as you expand, as I broaden my horizon and release the ties that bind, the ties that bind are those aspects that we feel connected to, driven by continually wanting to feed them in support of our drive for safety, our need for safety and security. And I'll cover that on another video. But I wanna share that with you. Take responsibility for your life. Taking responsibility means do one thing right now for yourself. Sit in your power, honor yourself, and ask the question, who is seeking? Who is seeking? See you in the field.